Oh, Saturday, Baylor and Iowa State, two top 10 teams. Baylor, number one, defending national champions. Men's basketball on the same day that the Sugar Bowls played here in New Orleans. Jerome Tang, associate head coach, joins us on Sikkim 365 Radio and 365 Sports. Jerome, you uh, think, first of all, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year uh, a couple of days ahead of time. Did you th- see Iowa State being able to, whether they're unbeaten or if they were 10-2, and two, whatever, did you see enough from them last year to think that they could turn it back on again this year this quickly? I, no, I, I did not. Uh, but uh, T.J. Osterberger is an unbelievable human being and a terrific coach and his staff. Uh, led by Daniel Robinson. I mean, they've done a terrific job of bringing in the right players that fit what he likes and what he's about. And those guys are tough, and they're connected on defense. And um, and then, you know, the fans at Iowa State, mm-hmm. you know, if you just give them just a little bit, man, they, they push you over the top. And, and so it's going to be an unbelievable environment up there uh, this weekend. And, um Looking, looking forward to watching our team respond to that challenge. Is that the the true art of the transfer portal? You guys have done it very well. It's not just you know going out and saying, okay, well, how how many stars does this guy have? What's the biggest names that we can get? Who are the guys that match and can quickly? Because you're going to transfer and play right away. You want the guys to be able to quickly assimilate into your style. Yeah, they have to not just assimilate into your style, but be willing to buy into your culture. You know, and um, there's a there's a lot of ways to play the game of basketball. Coach Drew says all the time, you know, one plus three equals four, two plus two equals four, zero plus four equals four. There's a lot of ways to get to four. You have to find the guys who are willing to buy into your way to get to four, and um, they they've done that. Yeah, and it's been an amazing turnaround. And all you needed, right, Jerome, is uh, another team in the Big 12 to be really good and elite? (laughs) Uh, Just just another year in the 12, man. Really really great competition is what makes us the the best league in the country. Um, And we we get to play everybody twice. So it it doesn't matter what your record is. You got to play them on their home court. They got to come play you on yours. And, I mean, it's so hard to win on the road. You, um, last year, you guys didn't have to. I mean, you had to obviously deal with COVID, uh, but you didn't have you know injuries, which is um, you know luck, something shining on you, whatever. Because everyone has to deal with them. This year, you've got a you, you had Langston Love right off the bat. LJ Cryer, I know, is, has uh, has dealt with some stuff. What's that been like? Kind of net Adam Flagler and his finger. What's that been like navigating that after a year where you didn't really have to worry about those little bumps and bites and bruises and, and getting to test some of that depth that you've brought in. Well, like I mean, we said in the locker room, we did our job this summer and to have the talent there that we could withstand an injury, a person being down for a little bit. You know, Matt missed some time, Adam missed some time, LJ missed some time. And and so, you know, that that's that's the luxury of having depth and having guys who buy into their roles and, and having guys who are able to step into new roles on a, you know, on a spur of the moment. And so uh, we got really good kids, man. And uh, uh, I'm excited. Uh, some of them have been given some opportunities that, you know, maybe they weren't expecting and they've done a great job. And uh, it's amazing when the guys who are, you know, playing your position, uh, when they, if they're hurt for a reason, you know, Wally Tip, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, let, let the young guy play. Um, you know, so guys get healthy a lot quicker when the guy in front of him is, is playing really well. <laughs> that's that's a great point, but you're right, because you never know when you give that up and then you don't get it back again and you become the role player or someone else like that. It, with that being said, has anyone outperformed what you thought to date? Uh, I think our team has outperformed what I thought to date. And not that I didn't think we could win every game. I, I really didn't think we would have this margin for error. And um, we've had a bigger margin for error than than I, I anticipated going into the year. 
your your guys have had to, you know, Matthew Meyer has a, a new role and and you know, as you lose the players and people step into new roles, are you are you even a little bit more impressed than you thought uh, of, of guys being able to adjust to new roles right off the bat and, and so quickly this year? No, because we saw him do it at practice every day last year. You know, last, last year, every practice was, you know, two of the best starting fives in the country playing against each other. You know, I mean, you, you had a team with, you know, you could have Davion and Maceo on one team and uh, Jared Butler and Adam Flagler on the other and LJ Cries, your third guard, and somebody else is the third guard. On the, you know, I mean, it was, you know, Jonathan and Flo on different teams and, you know, Mark Vidal and Matthew Meyer on different teams. It, it was – so there was some great games at practice and you saw guys um, show some things that they could do and they were just waiting for their opportunity to do it in the game. We released the trailer today. Sikkim 365 released the trailer. Ode to Joy, you're a part of that. You're a part of the documentary, and you should be. You're a major part of what's happened under Coach Drew as well, along with maybe dozens and hundreds of others. What are your thoughts about this documentary and, and the fact it gets to, to tell a, a story, not just about one team, but about a 20-year or plus period in both the Baylor or also the city of Waco? Well, uh, Smoke, I'm so thankful um, if I had to like write the story for myself, you know, I would not be at Baylor right now. Okay. That wasn't my plan. I'm so thankful that God was in charge of this and allowed me close the doors that needed to be closed and um, directed my life in a way that I got a chance to experience this whole thing and, uh, and be here, you know, to, to reap the fruits of your labor and see all the, the people over the last 19 years who have poured in behind the scenes, who have been there just supporting us and doing things to help the program get to where it is today and, and watch them enjoy this and get to enjoy it with them together. And, and so, man, it, it is just such a blessing. So thankful to, uh, you know, Sikkim 365 for doing this documentary and honored that I got to be a part of it. I'm excited to see the episodes. You know, I mean, like, <laughs> I want to binge watch them. Let's go. <laughs> I know. Hey, you, I, look, and you look good, Jerome. I'm telling you, yeah. you look good in the trailer. Yeah, you look do. Good. <laughs> you, you look good. You look good. How much of what Baylor football is doing, even when it was under Coach Bryles or the 11-3 uh, and three team with Matt Rule, or what you're seeing now with Dave Aranda, I know you keep up, but Baylor Athletics probably much more of a family now than ever before. How much of that do you feed off of or do each other feed off of as far as programs? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. We say, you know, a rising tide raises all ships. And, and I mean, we're not, we're not lost on the fact that, like, football is the engine, all right? And when football is good, all the other sports can be good because it, it's a trickle-down effect. You have a great atmosphere to bring recruits to. And, you know, I mean, I mean, it's just like I heard some of the numbers y'all was just saying about the NFL on Christmas Day, you know, uh, how many people are watching. Well, that, you're going to have those kind of numbers watching bowl games and seeing us play in the Sugar Bowl and get a win in the Sugar Bowl. And, you know, Baylor's going to be plastered and there are going to be kids all over the country and all over the world are going to be watching this and they want to be a part of it, you know, and, and so, man, I, I can't be more excited. Uh, uh, you know, I was trying to figure out how we could, like, play the 2 o'clock game, get on the charter at 5 o'clock, be in New Orleans by 7 o'clock, and, and get to the game, And uh, but I couldn't make it work. <laughs> well, well, first of all, take care of your business in Ames, Iowa. I know that's a, that, that might be as fun as... And I haven't been to Cameron, and I haven't been a couple of other places. I have not been to Allen Fieldhouse, or a, but th I've been to Hilton, and I went on a road trip with you guys a few years back. And that place, they have a that's like a carnival of basketball to me, as far as the fans. That is a great atmosphere, isn't it? Yes, it is. They are some of the most knowledgeable basketball fans in the country, and they they don't only cheer when their teams do well; they know when to cheer to give their teams a boost. You know, uh, they're just they're just great, great fans, and the environment in that place, the Hilton Magic, is for real. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, we're hoping that we can go in there and you know jump early and 
and, you know, try to keep the fans out of it, but they never stay out of it. They don't wait for their team to do something. They do something to help their team, you know, play better and spur them on. And that, that, that's the, the great thing about, about those fans at Iowa State. Happy New Year, Jerome. Thank you, Coach, for all hey. the things you are doing on the, the segments with us throughout the years, and we appreciate that. Man, thank you all for having me. Happy New Year's and sick of bears. Let's yes, sir. Win that sugar bowl. Baylor. Mm-hmm. Associate basketball coach uh, Jerome Tang with us on Sikkim 365 Radio, 365 Sports. They play Saturday afternoon in Ames against Iowa State, unbeaten Iowa State, a great matchup of unbeaten top 10 teams in the Big 12. All right. Uh, we.